Howdy. So, before we get into this reading, can you do me a favor and let me know in the comments below how you are just doing, right? I really do want to know. I like to check in with my peeps. So, uh, let's just get into this reading, y'all. Hey, girl. Hello, my beautiful Virgo. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot reading this week. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below, my beautiful Virgo, which tarot cards do and how they do, because that is how I keep up with you guys, is through the comments, Virgo, as well as that. If you enjoy this tarot reading or you just enjoy uh, my vibe, Virgo, I'd be really appreciative of it if you were to take the time to do this video a like and subscribe because it does help out my tarot reading channel a lot and I am super appreciative of it my beautiful Virgo when you guys take that extra step to support me in that way as well Virgo before we get into this reading I just want to remind you to use your intuition because put it in perspective I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you you know your situation better than I ever possibly could so take the tarot cards that resonates and leave what doesn't because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever my beautiful Virgo so, with all that being said, uh, let's just get into this reading for you, Virgo. And I'm gonna uh, talk about something real quick, just the elephant in the room. I got my eyebrow pierced recently. My pierced said that I could potentially get a black eye if I um, bruise easily. I So right now, right here, I'm in the process of, uh, my, of getting bruising and stuff, so I might end up getting a black eye um, eventually. So if you're wondering what, the, uh, what this is going on here as we go, into this reading. That's what happened, Tony. <laughs> um, yeah, let's just get into your reading now, Virgo. Um, I did tell you, um, I always like to say it just because I always get people commenting each week asking for me to like tell them what they should do with their lives. But it's just like, yeah, this re these readings here are just here for some food for thought or perspective to consider, right? Don't take these readings to like as like the holy word because remember, it's just some tarot cards, honey. Virgo. So yeah, now that I got that out, um, let's get into this weekly reading for you, Virgo. So starting out for you, I pulled some cards, Virgo, just so I could get an idea of what's going on energetically for you. Uh, you guys got the Knight of Air. And I'll read it out. This card says, events that occur with great speed. Take time to carefully review your options and creative solutions. So right now, I'm sorry, anytime I start talking a lot, Virgo, I get that air, right? <laughs> I feel like I always have to apologize each week when I do readings. Um, some of y'all probably already know this by now. But yeah, with this night of air, Virgo, this is a time of where a lot of movement, right? I don't know if this is movement in a good way or in a bad way, right? This could be in the sense of where you're feeling overwhelmed at this time, uh, Virgo, because so many things are being thrown at you at once. Or this could be in a time where some of you, Virgos, are in this place of getting out of a rut, right? It could be a mixture of things as well. Um, I feel like that's probably what's happening for most of you, Virgos, is where it's just like you're in the process of getting out of a rut, but then it's almost just like while you're getting out of this rut, like so many things are being thrown at you. For some of you, Virgos, you might even feel like the universe is trying to be like, oh, nope, get back in your shell. Like what you do in leaving your house, honey, right? And you feel like almost punished for t uh, being like, you know what? Let me not be depressed for a day. Let me go walk out in nature. And then you end up getting into like a fender bender, right? And just like, oh, I should have just stayed home, right? Um, so the clarifying cards I have for this, uh, for this night of air for you, Virgo, we have the eight of fire coming in here. Uh, we have the seven of fire, and then you have the five of water. So let's get into this for you, Virgo. I'm trying to figure out how we want these cards set up in this way. I can't help but feel like for some of you Virgos, you guys, here's the thing. Let's get into this Eight of Fire first because this is kind of like this repetitive message from your Knight of Air, Virgo. Because let me read off the card so you'll know why. This card says events moving at a fast pace. Um, delays are over, many things happening at once. So you have two cards here talking about you know, the, the delays are over, right? This is kind of like a start your engine sort of thing, like the trigger has been pulled, Virgo. And now you're just, and you definitely with these two cards is letting me know you probably are feeling a little bit overwhelmed, Virgo. But it's in this, this time of like chaos for you, there's definitely something here uh, that you could hook onto and really um, 
pivot into a little bit deeper and I feel like you kind of have to just like this week the best thing that you can do Virgo is to just do as much as do the best that you can in terms of uh organizing through that chaos of uh, Virgo just to because there's something here that you is there's something here in this chaos that's trying to be shown be revealed to you I just get this feeling um Virgo so with the eight of fire it's you it is the eight of wands in normal tarot um and that knight of air would be like the knight of swords by the way normal tarot but with the eight of wands and normal like i in the normal message i would say it's like that card of like grabbing up at different wands and just feeling seeing how each thing feels to you virgo so at this time during this chaotic time uh as things are being thrown at you pick up each thing whether like regardless of what it is and be like how does this feel what does this bring out in me how does this you know what is this trigger right um because there's definitely with all these like with, with those eight wands right those eight wands being thrown at you one of these wands are is something that's meant for you one of those wands are meant to uh hook uh hook into you right in a good way <laughs> if that makes sense uh and so yeah you have the five of water here or the five of cups in normal to Rome. This card says things not turning out how you the way that you'd hope, not seeing the positive in a situation, and crying over spilled milk. So in the midst of this chaos and you probably feeling extremely overwhelmed at this time, Virgo, you're not able to see like the uh what's the phrase for it? The uh ray of hope, right? The uh you're just not you, you're too busy feeling overwhelmed in the moment because understandably because it's happening to you right now virgo that at this point right now you can only focus in on like the chaos of it and not really being able to take a step back and appreciate the beauty of it right you're probably just in this place of feeling feeling extremely stressed out virgo but here's the thing you have the seven of fire or the seven of wands coming in here as well this card says defend your beliefs and decisions stand your ground and choosing your battles wisely so with this dynamic virgo this is one of those things that just like stay in the course keep pushing through with whatever with whatever this journey that you're on if you're just in this journey of trying to come out of your shell if you're in this journey of like trying to go outside more if you're in this journey of um you know looking for like a new job right keep leaning into it more yeah you're definitely probably going to be still continuously dealing with some road bumps but again allow those road bumps to uh pivot you in the right direction right because maybe those road bumps will change you just enough in the degree of where your trajectory is that it's going to get to take you to the place that you absolutely need to be at uh, Virgo. So when you take all these messages into consideration, Virgo, this is definitely something here that Spirit's trying to have you be aware of and be receptive to Virgo. So definitely at this time, yeah, with those road bumps, it's probably um, going to be a little bit overwhelming for you. Continue on being a little bit overwhelming this week, but don't take that as a sign that you're doing something wrong, Virgo, because you're not. This, you know, it's very understandable for you to be going through the state of unsureness right now for you um but yeah just lean into new energy more so now virgo we go, we talk about all of that right let's see what blessings are in the works for you this week i'm trying to if you don't <laughs> if you don't know virgo i'm like trying to find my i have a bunch of tarot decks all around me so i was trying to find the one that feels the most fitting for y'all so yeah virgo let's pull some cards and see what is what are the blessings coming this week for you <clears throat> actually let's put a hold on that virgo I kind of want to see what it is that you are going to be dealing with this week, and then we'll get into the blessings, right? Let's finish going through, like, the heavy stuff. Or we say heavy stuff. Let's finish going through the business side of things, honey, and then we'll get into the feels good, right? So, yeah. Now, let's shift this rather to what it is that my Virgos should be looking out for this week. How should they approach their situation? Mm -mm. Let's see here, one more card. I told myself I need to get into a better habit of shuffling on camera for you guys so you guys are not just like staring at me. Um, <laughs> just looking down, right? All right, so let me look at set these cards up accordingly. 
Let's see here. All right. So very funny how uh, you guys are similar to Taurus and how you guys both had Eight of Wands following you. So you have the Eight of Wands, Virgo. You have the Two of Cups. You have the Page of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, and then the King of Pentacles. I know that was inverted, but and this is all intuitive, honey. It doesn't matter. I don't ever fill you guys on the details on that because there's no reason for you guys to be stressing about that. So taking these cards in for you, Virgo, uh, what I want to point out this week, Eight of Wands, is kind of like, I say this not from a place of just being like, I told you so, but I know it sounds that way, Virgo, where it's just like, this is a time of where it's just like, during this chaos, you're just picking up things and feeling out um, how it feels for you. You know how I was saying that you had the Eight of Fire, which is kind of like the Eight of Wands, and you would see Eight of Wands, and each one you're supposed to just like grab at, see how it feels, see if it's the right weight, what have you, right? So this is really just a week of just trial and test and trial, trial and testing, is that whatever the uh, combination is. Just to, this is a week of just dipping your toes in multiple uh, waters right now, um, Virgo. So when you have, hmm, I'm going to be honest here, Virgo, when you have the Two of Cups here with the King of Cups, this is really going to be a pretty challenging week for you guys emotionally, um, because I do kind of see this sense of where it's just like, yeah, you guys are feeling things out, but you might end up getting your feelings hurt by like when you pick up one wand and like kind of see how it feels and the way that you find out that it's not meant for you is by getting your feelings hurt in some way right so let me just use an example right maybe you always thought you wanted like a person right because you see the two of cups and you're sharing your hand with someone but it could be an opportunity or a job thing as well right whatever the situation uh virgo right intuition honey but you thought this person was meant for you honey uh you, you this person was just the one darling um and then you finally got the chance to uh get with them and then through or you decided to rather uh view this person as like one of the wands that you needed to pick up and give a chance to right but you pursuing them and then you kind of find out they're actually a jerk and um you know what have you and then so in that process you get your feelings hurt a little bit you might feel like it and start internalizing that pain but don't take it personally right um, with this page of pentacles here, this is, this is kind of like the message where she's like, uh, uh, my Virgos might, uh, get like, to be honest here, Virgo, like, <laughs> right, you know, I have to be transparent in my readings. It does feel like you you guys are going to be extending yourselves out to certain things, taking chances on certain things, and kind of, uh, experiencing a little bit of rejection, experiencing a little bit of, uh, Five of Pentacles energy where it's just feeling outcasted and just not feeling all that, uh, great at some points in your time, uh, at some points during this week when you extend yourself out there, when you grab up at those different eight of wands, those different wands, and see how each one feels. So yeah, definitely you are going to be dealing with some road bumps this week, uh, my beautiful Virgo, but do not take it just best thing you can do at this time is just not to internalize it Virgo I know it's easier said than done but you kind of have to go through the trial and error that's what I was trying to say the trial and errors because one of those wands are meant for you one of these people one of those jobs whatever is meant for you but you kind of have to sift through the junk you have to like deal with some of the pain Virgo before you find before you find your bounty right so yeah that's what I want to say on that honey now, Virgo, we can get into the blessings to come for you. Now we can look at the blessings coming for you, Virgo, this week. Or the blessings that are in the works for you, rather, right? Let's see here. This one wanted to come out. All right, Virgo. So the blessing, blessings... Uh, giving out my like my lisp i'm developing a lisp randomly <laughs> for y'all's reading virgo um y'all's uh, cards the blessings coming in the works for you guys you have the hermit card interesting uh yeah the hermit card yeah the ten of wands and then you have the eight of cups oh honey <laughs> oh virgo <laughs> Y'all know I have to be honest, right? So the blessings coming to you guys seemingly 
kind of similar to uh, Taurus is that you guys are going to be addressing some baggage. A lot of this, a lot of the earth, like a lot of signs actually in general, like their blessings are like, yeah, their, their blessings essentially are, is like a giant weight being lifted off of their shoulders. Like those, um, something that's been hanging over their head or just like, just like the weight of depression, honey, uh, Virgo, uh, just being lifted off of you just and like walking away from things that just weren't serving you anymore. Right. Those things that just were not fulfilling to you, uh, Virgo. And so, which would make sense, right? Especially with this eight of wands energy that we were talking about for so long for you that was following you, Virgo. It makes sense that you're in this place of like super self-reflectiveness where you're just like trying to really figure out for yourself, Virgo, of like what feels right to you, what is like meant for you, right? Because yeah. as you're picking up all these different wands, you're just like, all right, does this feel right to me? Does this feel right to me? Well, wait a minute. What are you and is it right for me, right? You're asking those questions, right? And maybe you're even through asking, it's through asking those questions, you start realizing the patterns that you have had in your life and you're able to see like, maybe like the past issues of those 10 of wands, right? All this baggage. Um, now we're thinking about bag lady from Erica Badu. Um, all this past baggage that you dealt with was then influencing the relationships that you allowed in your life or the jobs and offers that you would take, that you would settle for because of those past issues. And just maybe for some of you Virgos, you're able to acknowledge like how the, your, the trajectory of your life just dramatically changed in such a way um, because of like past um, things, we won't call it issues, past things that you experienced that like influenced your uh, decision making, your influence, just how you perceive and would accept things. And so through you going through this baggage and taking off this weight, through you exploring what feels right to you, Virgo, during this week, as you pick up those eight of wands, each of those eight of wands, um, you really just start learning a lot more about yourself, really. Um, and so I guess that you would kind of consider that the blessing in of itself, right, Virgo? Right? It is a blessing anytime that we start really uh, identifying the things that uh, actually feel right to us and no longer trying to sustain ourselves from those empty calories to us. <laughs> So I like that, Virgo. Again, pretty heavy stuff, right? It's not me just promising like, oh, you're going to be finding the one this week. Oh, you're going to be hitting the lottery this week, Virgo, right? It's none of that. But um, still overall positive reading. You're going to be going through that baggage, Virgo, and really uh, um, just going to be able to like have such a sense of not sense of you're just gonna have such a weight lifted off of your shoulders this week by the end of this week it feels Virgo you're gonna have that giant weight lifted off of your shoulders and you're just also going to know a lot more about yourself than what you probably had known before and it's through you knowing more about yourself the more that you'll want to do things that actually sustain you you'll know what will, will actually sustain you rather and so I pull, I like to pull the card for a stone just to suggest people a stone or crystal that they could be working with for the week, Virgo. So my pe uh, people that are looking for an excuse to buy a stone, honey, uh, you guys could be working with hematite number 26 equaling to eight, uh, Virgo. So write down the number eight to look up at a later point to see how the card res or the number resonates with you this week in this reading. But hematite, hematite is a very good energy to keep yourself grounded, Virgo. So definitely is a good stone to have. It's especially since I was suggesting to you that or letting you know that this is probably going to be an emotionally an extremely emotionally taxing week for you Virgo so you do want that really nice grounding force um and really this is a really good stone also just I feel inclined to say um for just like any type of like if someone's trying to manifest something into into their life this is a really good stone to incorporate in like a ritual or just even keeping on you because it's going to help really like as i was saying like ground that energy and bring it to a life and bring it to the surface if that makes sense and so yeah if you're looking for a stone to work with this week virgo hematite is the one i always am going to suggest to people as well to look at the metaphysical benefits of the stone because they can just go into it so much more than i would uh be able to but uh, yeah, my beautiful Virgo, that is the reading that I have for, for you for this week. If you enjoyed this weekly reading for you, be sure to let me know in the comments below which card resonated. Give this video a like and subscribe, Virgo. And
then also Virgo, I do the weekly tarot readings for all the zodiac signs, not just Virgo. So if you have a friend that's into tarot, or even if they're not honey, uh, send them their Virgo, uh, send them their Virgo, send them their zodiac weekly tarot reading, and maybe they can find a tarot message that resonates with them. But until next time, Virgo, I love you so much. Bye.